Could I ask you a question, please? Could I ask you a question, please? No, no, I'm busy at the moment. No, you're not. Yes, I'm busy. You're very rude today, you are. Thank you. Now, the vehicle that tried Thank to you. push the Sir, protesters, excuse me. Do, not, the do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me again. Thank you very much. The vehicle that pushed the protesters out the way. Yeah, but as a Staffordshire police force, you should all be singing from the same hymn sheet. Yellow shouldn't be behaving any different to blues. No. So when they arrive, nothing's changed. No, we've just got different roles now. But the rule, the rules, not roles. Rules are the same. So Indeed, they're still doing. Our, our role today is wearing his blue vest, the police liaison, is trying to engage, trying to build a rapport, trying to explain what's going on, trying to plot, understand their concerns. Try and put across the, the business concerns, whether you like it or not. Yeah. What we don't want to do then is come in and start enforcing things because that rapport will go. You want to return with the same relationship? Yes, yeah. I want to keep yeah, it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So the yellow, the yellow. I don't even like referring to it as yellow jackets and blue tops. But that's how blue tops. Is that what you call yourself? Top. That's how. That's how the public see it. Yeah, I know. So, I know. So that's all I'm trying to explain to them. The yellow jackets will be arriving shortly. There's no surprises there. We've been honest from the start. How many? Then that's it. How many? I don't know. Is, it, I don't is know. it going to be in a carrier? It'll be in a van, I imagine. Okay. Yes. Um, would you agree that the um, the urgency to get things resolved is increasing the more lorries build up? If there was no lorries, then the urgency wouldn't be as much. Agreed? Well, that's a decision for our bosses, isn't it? Yeah, but it's so, like... So we, 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 I relay what's happening. Decisions are then made above my head. Are we uh, expecting an inspector in the carrier? I don't know. There'll be a sergeant, I would imagine. There already is, isn't there? Yeah. Weather's in the inspector, I don't know. Okay? Yeah, Sam, mate. You're, you're brilliant. I like that today, don't you? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Where's your other mate from the last time? Ah, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> he's actually okay. Yeah, he's okay. And if they're okay, you could be okay back, don't you? Well, that's what I mean. You got, you got some out. You got some out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. We've uh -huh. just heard word now that they're going to send in the, uh, the squaddies now. Yeah, yeah. Just, I've just grilled him on that. Oh. Uh, I've asked him how many and he can't say. Well, last, well, last time when they come down uh, mob handed, they've uh, brought uh, a couple of riot vans, about 30, 40 yard uh, officers uh, lined up uh, and obviously trying to move, move us off, yeah. trying to break us all up. And like, Make sure, if they ever try it to you, I just say, what offence am I committing? Yeah. So, what piece of legislation are you using? Mm. So, and I'd like to hear what they say. Oh yeah, because yeah. there isn't um, many they can be using. They've already tried them all. When they tore down the great communities locally, they did so with intimidation tactics. Hey! Hey! What we are seeing today is no different. Sergeants Don't in the uh, passenger seat on the carrier. Come on, ladies and gents, big smile for you too. Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on, you look better than that. I know you can. Every single one is a PC. At least the female PC has got the correct hat on today. Oh, 
What would you like to tell me first, please? Do Anybody not like such an affair as Mark DeVito's now. I mean, this is what the intimidation that we put up with. Yeah, they They're are. even engaging with us. You know what I mean? They just come down totally to intimidate us once again. Yeah, you know, the nothing approach. Nothing wrong with them coming up and asking us and having a good, decent conversation yeah. with yes. us. But no, I've just tried to approach him to get a civil conversation going with him. Nothing. Hello? We're just protesting, Dwayne. Dwayne, can you show Jamaica what's happening? Why are you here? Remember that the police cannot change their tactics to protest the protest. Why are you here? We're, we're, just, we're just confused. What's led you to come here today? This is how they bully you. Hi. Good afternoon. Which station are you from, love? I'm from Stafford Police Station. Stafford Police Station. Have you travelled for what about yourself? Is it Staffordshire as well? Stafford? Stafford Police Station? No, Hanley. Hanley? All right, okay. What's your colour number? 28363. Are you recording? Uh, no. Okay. Do you intend to? Not at the moment. Okay. Why are you here? To ensure the, the protest runs safely and smoothly. All oh, right, to help us, to help the protesters. We're here to make sure the protest runs safely and smoothly. Because about 10 minutes ago, we had a, a vehicle that tried to um, push the protesters out of the way. Is that the sort of thing you're here to help us with? Well, obviously, we're not here now. Uh, we've obviously got the protest liaison team who've been here with you all. Yeah. But for morning and afternoon, who, who instances, instances, contact is. instances like that that are going to happen um, over the next hour or so. Are you here to help us with that? Well, I hope that no vehicles will try and drive at you. So. Yeah, and if they do, are you just going to like um, say sorry to them that we're, that we're the obstruction, or would you would you pursue them for the offence? Because we like to um, we like to believe that an offence being committed witnessed by many police liaison officers would be actually pursued on our behalf or do you need a complainant what say that again sorry the vehicle that came in to try and push the protesters out the way mm -hmm. we're not sure or we are we are not aware whether a complaint is required to pursue that driver for the offense could you enlighten me on that if someone would like to make a complaint then that's something you, you can do yeah so without a complaint he'll get away with it will he i'm not sure because i wasn't here is there anything see what happens. is it possible that you could find out because if the if so if he's going to get away with that i'll be the complainant okay do, do i have your word on that you'll find out for me you speak with a protest liaison team they're not very talkative well, but they're here for a purpose and so are you denying me the right to no i've told you to speak with the protest lady on team okay it's on camera right i'm gonna go over there now and if that doesn't go right i'll be back Could I ask you a question, please? Could I ask you a question, please? No, no, I'm busy at the minute. No, you're not. Yes, I'm busy. You're very rude today, you are. Thank you. Now, the vehicle that tried to push the protesters, Excuse me. do I'm not, do not touch me. Do, just do not way? touch just me. Just do not touch me. Do not touch me again. Thank you very much. The vehicle that pushed the protesters out of the way. 5287, you are going to face disciplinary action over this. Believe me. 5340, could I have a word, please? I would like to ensure that the vehicle, the, the driver of that vehicle that pu tried to push the protesters out the carriageway, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that a complaint is in pro progress because of his actions. Now, do you need a complainant? You need to ring 101. What, even though you witnessed it yourself, you you're still to, asking me to... Need, no, ring 101. no, that is not within your policy. 5340, you. are you standing by that? Yes. Even though you witnessed it yourself, you I still want busy. me... I am busy. No, you're not. I am busy. No, you're not. That is disgusting. That really is disgusting. Telling me to ring 101 when he witnessed the, the offence himself. You cannot write this. It starts to get me a little bit angry when they uh, blatantly abuse their role. So they're clearly not here to protect the members of the public, are they? They're here to do whatever they can to get these protesters out of the way as soon as possible. So... 
the PC that said, go and tell the blue jacket, it was wrong as well, weren't it? The blue jackets did not want to hear it. What do we want? Roger! When do we want to? Yeah. Nice bit of kit there, mate. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I live in New York, but my mum lives down the street, so I'm just visiting her. Oh, so you're just like um, a member of the public? I'm an, ind right. yeah, I'm an independent filmmaker. So. D d where's, where's your content going? Um, I'm making a feature film about the about area. So right, okay. Just documented things around the area. Brilliant. And, uh, so. Nice one, mate. Yeah. Brilliant. Dehydration? Uh, no, she's diabetic. She's oh, type right. two, so right. she's just had some love hearts and some Lucozade. So oh, she's, gonna not better. she's going to sit in her car for a bit. She's not doing. Better. At least we are seeing some sort of compassion yeah. from the PCs here. This is the first instance I've ever seen them doing something useful for the protesters. The lady's diabetic, and they're just helping her back to some sort of comfort. See, that's good to see. That's what we want to see. We want to see human interactions and not them just sticking up for the corporations. You know, think about the protesters. Think about what's led them to come and be here today and take this action. They've not just smelt it on day one and come. This has been building up over years and years and years with nothing being done about it. I'm just trying to stick this on the post, so... Uh, Apologies for the camera work. It won't stick, so it's got to stay down there. Oh yeah. All oh, right. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got the same uh, GoPro as me. Are you local, are you? Yeah, just down the road. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant. Get, like, a lot of aggressive truck drivers. We've just had one. Tried to yeah, force the. It was that far off my nose. Yeah. It was that far off my nose. Yeah. Yeah. To get them driving into all sorts. Yeah. Well, I just uh, asked if they're going to do anything about it, and they say they need a complainant. So I says I'll be the complainant. Yeah. And, and it says, oh, you need to bring 101. I said, well, that's disgusting, ain't it? Where's that sh well, doing anything for us? Yeah. Did anybody get the number plate? It's still down there. No? still down there now. So it's all one side into all the time. Yeah. I've got the number plate, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the time you get through, I'll give you the number plate. Okay. Really, mate, but actually, do you know what I'm doing? I was live on Facebook when it happened. Really? So I've got, rather than 101, I've got Staffordshire plate and it goes straight through. All right, I don't okay. know how. The lady's on the phone to 101 to report it. Obviously, she's going to need the registration. But as we saw on the video, the registration is obscured because of all the dirt. So let's go see if the officers are bothered about that. We're on the phone to 101 to report the driver because there's no complaint and you're not going to do anything about it, right? His behaviour that's been captured on video. Now, I want to give the 101 operator the vehicle registration, but as shown there, it's obscured, which is an offence in itself. I am tempted to go down and get the registration, but you witnessed how angry he was, so I don't I'll, want to antagonise him. I'll ask you not to because... Could I please ask you or your radio, your comms, to give me the registration to avoid a situation? I don't need to because when that incident was happening... I had my body-worn camera on, as did all my colleagues, 
The registration plate, the VRM as we call it, has been noted on the police incident log, so we know what that is, so that okay. so the call taker won't need it. In that case, because I please have the incident number. I'll find it for you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to give us the registration number in a minute. Because yeah. yeah. from the from the video footage, yeah. it's actually a legal number plate because it's obscured. Yeah. Hello, guys. Right, the number eleven in the queue. Yeah. They have got an incident number, so when you get through, yeah, okay. say, I want to link my complaint with the incident yeah. number. Um, Mary's going to do a complaint, and I've done mine. I'm going to pass my phone to Mary so she can do the same. Brilliant. Palex. Just say thank you to that young man. He sent his lunch money. Oh, well done. So who is it? Ruti Roots Recruit. Thank you so much, my friend. It means a lot. Your support is brilliant. Thank you very much. What are you having? <laughs> I'll have a Big Mac meal, please. A Big Mac meal. There you go. Caramel frappe. So we've got another unit pull up now. Normally, when they send uh, a little car like that, extra to the carrier, it's normally what the inspector arrives in. So I think this is uh, where decisions will start to be made now on getting people moved. Just say it. Oh, okay, okay. No, because the, the lady's on the phone to 101, so I will have to pass it back. Yeah, you making those? Some more of your colleagues around. They have, haven't they? You are saying? No, we're mixed up. I can, oh, I'm a man, I can only deal with certain things. Do you want me to do it or you have? Yes, please, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just getting the incident number for the aggressive behaviour of the driver. There's quite a few offences there. Right. So we're just making sure that uh, the driver learns from it, basically, because I don't want members of the public being hurt. No, no. And what he did was totally wrong. Yeah. Being a man of yourself, like yourself with your experience. I'd have got at least three or four. Can I just it's explain this to you? Just so. No, so the one. top one in bold, that's the main police log for the whole protest. And then the separate incident has been cross-referenced, but the separate incident is the one underneath. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Great. So, I mean, they can show that they're on our side just by doing little things like that oh right, okay no this is the um, incident number for the protest in a hole and that's yeah. the incident number for the driver who behaved oh, okay okay thank you where have you got that from off the police officer yeah yeah yeah, yeah still number 11 in the queue that's one six. Wow, he nearly hit me. I know what I'm meaning is everybody's standing here. I know. You're falling in the air. I know. It's not even 25. Yeah, but this is what yeah. I said to them. Wow, look how fast he's going. He's going to. Yeah. Mountains. It makes you worry though, don't it? Because you, yeah. you believe they're going to turn in here at that speed. Yeah. And I know that they shouldn't, but I'm still ready to move out of the way. If she gets through to 101 and I'm not around, she'll just want that off you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm messaging on Facebook. Oh, brilliant. She usually gets the more the merrier, isn't it? Well, you know it, mate. I just turn around at the right time. Did you actually hear what he said to me? No. You can break your face. Go on, then, let's see it then. Let's see it. Pedestrians have right of way. You do not force pedestrians. Yes, they do. Get out of here. Come on, let's do it, let's do it! Come on, Look, he thinks he's big opening his door, threatening violence. Take your shit. Yeah, you was. Take your rubbish out. It's talking to you! So what I did is I come down and decided to like, chain yourself to the gates and I stayed there like in a one-man protest kind of thing. How long did that last? Yeah, it lasted a few hours, about five hours. What I don't get is why do you need to tell you to come and tell us that they want to tell us? Why don't they tell us? I tell you, you've got the courtesy, aren't you? At the end of the day. Oh, so you're not telling this because it's your job? I'm telling this because it's common courtesy. 
So while it's all quiet here and we've got lots and lots of PCs doing nothing, let's see if they mind me taking David up for an aerial shot of this dirty, dirty, dirty landfill. Let's do it and see what they say.
So from the drone video there, you can see some right weird waste dumped even in bags. Most of it looks like it's all shredded together and mixed and then moved around. But that load there in the middle, that just looked like it was just there uh, from your waste bin at home. Absolutely bizarre. But the police never bothered us that time with the drone. So we've got the next bit of kit out of the toolbox, the scanner. So we noticed some people in there working and whether they're communicating by walkie talkies or not, I don't know, so let's find out. Let's scan some airwaves and see what we can find. that um, since people have been putting the videos online and even the, the PCs themselves have seen it, do you think they're behaving a little bit differently? 100%. By now, I think they would have been arrested by now or threatened with arrest or... Do you think, like, it's just a, a countdown until... 100%. Um, so these, these three of these officers here have, have dealt with us since since the very first protest. And they, were, they were very helpful. They used to come to the protest, they used to... Join in with the barbecue that we had on the side here. They were laughing with the community, and then um, one day something just changed and turned up with like the 50 coppers. I don't know if you've seen the video, like they were just lying in the middle of the road. And, and from that day, they just changed. They were like not interested in us, they don't feel sorry for us. They just, they're just here to do a job, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, your video last week when you come, um, it was different then as well because normally when sat here, they, they were very rough with them, they were a bit rude. Um, they haven't been at all, they haven't even spoke to me, not even not even looked at me. Well I've tried to talk to a few of them and I've noticed a massive difference. So they've definitely had an order from the top. Not to um, speak to you. Not to engage. Don't sort of dig yourself a hole. There is it's one pretty guy. sad really because you know yeah. I mean we're not here to catch the police ourselves, we're not here to, to fight with the police, we're here as a community because we're said to be poisoned, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then these have turned it into a second battle as well, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like Rather than give advice and help you, and when vehicles, you, you missed it earlier, a vehicle tried to push the protesters, and I says, well, do you need a complainant for, to, to pursue that? He goes, yeah, we do. Well, why have you not asked any of us yeah. to make a statement? And that's the thing, we've had a lot of pushing people over yeah, the yeah. and we've had, it's just, so, I, I work in, in a local shop up the road here, right. and a member of their staff came in came in the shop, and, and I've never been rude to any of the staff, and I said to him, do you work at the landfill, mate? That was the conversation I had with him, he ignored me, he walked out of the shop. Two hours later, he, he came, the, the police came to the shop and said, you just threatened this lad from the landfill. He says, that is not true at all, he says, that's not true. He says, the CCTV there, he records, I'll go ask my boss to get the recording, and you'll see what I said. So then it turns out that I didn't I didn't say that, I just I just said, Do you work at the landfill? So then the guy that, that made the complaint to the police, um, a couple of weeks later he messaged me on Facebook saying that he'd been sacked from the landfill and um, it was management that made him lie to the police. Um, so I made this complaint to the police about him about, um, lying about me. And then I was with my two children down here. Um, we were only five and six at the time, and I was just crossing over the road, and like five of the workers come out to me, and like crowding me with me. Workers children. from here. Workers from here. Intimidating, yeah. And they were just intimidating. They were trying to start a fight, and I just said, "Look, I've got my kids with me." Basically.
off that, leave me so alone. That's the sort of professionalism, though. So I made a complaint to the police about this, and not heard, heard anything, anything from it. You, know you see, I mean? that, that that was a classic example where they could have shown, and shown that they're on your they side. For They've us. missed a few of those examples today that yeah. I've seen, and just little gestures like that would do so much, and then we'd see them in a different light. We'd exactly, see that they're here. Exactly. I'd much prefer standing here working with the yeah, police exactly, and, yeah. and working but against. But they're them, not doing themselves any favour by not allowing that to happen, not which it's a shame to see. But today I've seen particular one PC has done it a few times just be blat blatantly rude yeah so yeah. people will see this and I'm sure that's not what the police are for is no, it no. It's, he's letting them down yeah. he's letting the, the old side down yeah but yeah it's um, it's great to see that you guys it, 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 until you until you um, actually get some action the environment agency just need to stop lorries coming here exactly in my that's, that's what we've been and then, for years and why can they not do that is it because red industries are going to suffer losing the money you know what I mean it must be something they're to do with tenants and their money yeah. Yeah. but if, if there is some corruption going on they must be brave to continue yeah. it because yeah. it's clear for everyone to see it's like I, I, it's not going to be long until somebody like touch what it doesn't happen but somebody takes their own life or somebody's taken as seriously ill and yeah. it's going to be this place and there's going to be an inquiry and, and people are going to want to know why 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 it's not happened you know what i mean i mean it's the quarry being filled in you should never see it should you because the hole is just being filled yeah. the fact that you can see it i think it all needs to be taken away and taken to the incinerator yeah exactly yeah but they're doing the opposite. And I think I think also the community needs to know what's been tipped in there, what what they're breathing in. Um, so it's supposed to be end of life waste. So how, how can end of life waste smell this no, smell yeah, this badge? Yeah. You know, we, we need to know what what we've been breathing in. What's, so the the monitors that monitor the uh, in all the different areas they only pick up on I think it's three of the gases. But I believe that there's, there's ten different types of gas that right. that we're breathing in. It only, it's only picking up three of them. And we're not told what them other eight gases are, and so I mean, we need to know this information. And I know you have got a doctor on board, haven't you? Yeah, so it's Dr. Scott. So Dr. Scott um, has made a few statements saying that it's really affecting his patients. Every, nearly every other patient that goes in to see him has a complaint about the landfill, and he's saying that something needs to be done. And I think he took it a little bit higher than, than, than he could, yeah. yeah. So I think you have got some really um, powerful people on board, and even with that, still the lorries arriving and that's shocking that is a shocking and people do support that but you know theory i mean why why the hell is it yeah. allow, allowed to continue exactly, yeah. now that aaron bell mp i managed to catch a, a facebook live of his earlier and it does seem like he came here for a pr stunt to me well, is that, what well, do you think at first, he, at first i thought he was absolutely grateful bloody hell the sun's literally shining out of this guy's arse and then after the uh, the elections, it just went quiet for months and months and months. And now it's coming up again, isn't it? And it's, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. I know, I know his game. Well, I've obviously, I've not seen any of his history. I've just seen what he did today when he turned up. And I didn't. I wasn't here. I watched it back. And he just says, "Oh, I've got to go because I've got to do a telephone interview." Well, yeah. that's more important than this is it. He's now, he's, well, that's what I mean. He's, so that's. I, I believe he can. He can smell it in his in his house. As well, so. I don't know if people know that are watching that there's, there's sort of two sort of groups. Um, so we've got split into two groups, and our group took the direct, this sort of direct action a little bit more. Right. And the other group didn't agree with that, so we kind of split into two groups. And Aaron Bell sort of followed the, the group, group should we say. Right. The paperwork group sort of the thing. The paperwork group, yeah. So um, I think that's a reason. And then yeah. we've been, our group's been nominated for some kind of award for the local community. Action in yeah. I mean, and, but and both approaches now, are, are crucial, aren't they? They are very, yeah. very crucial. I think this, this sort of more people want this sort of action. They're just scared of the police. They're just scared of being bullied by the police. Yeah. They don't want to go through months of court trials and hours in the police cell for sticking up for the family. Yeah. Well, the fact that you're prepared to go through all that to benefit your local community, credit to you, mate. And to be honest, mate, I, I started this as. I did it for my own, for my own kids. My yeah. kids. My kids were waking up crying, and I did, I did it for them. And then, from then, I, I realised how many people it actually affected, and how many people were affected: children, grandparents, parents, uh, the hospital, people that come and visit the families in the cemetery, people with mental health, uh, schools, and it just, it just broke my heart. And I just had to do more, more about it. And I've been campaigning ever, ever since, and I won't stop campaigning until we sort it out. Yeah, good on you. And it's shocking for me to see that they are building a new housing estate so close I mean yeah. so apparently they can't can't smell anything in that new housing estate it's going to be 
100% smell proof. But has anyone moved in that estate yet? Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 The house is not built yet, so they're having weekly weekly visits apparently and they're doing weekly surveys. And, yeah. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh, no. There's so much that just seems blatantly wrong, but nobody's stopping it. It's like this posse shell that we put on. It's the, the light and coloured clay on the landfill here. Right. That, that was the new groundbreaking um, posse shell that was going to solve all our problems. So this time, this year, it was going to be fixed. There would be no smell. And it's, it's just not good. It's the worst thing that's been going on. What's that? What's it called? A posse? Posse shell. Poshi shell? A posse shell, so it's P-O-S-I shell. Right. Posse shell. What, and what so colour it, is it? It came from America. So it, it comes like a, like a sludge and then spray it onto the landfill and it hardens. So right. it, it creates that barrier. From the, from the smell and, and the clay, you know what I mean? What, can we see it from here? You should be able to see it from here, yeah. Oh, that's sort of like um, so, so concrete sort of thing. Two different contrasts, so you've got the dark, dark clay and then the lighter clay here. So right. this, this was the new posi shell, and that, the lamp was supposed to be covered with that, right. and that was going to stop the smell. So it seems to me that they've put it on the visible area that you can see from the road, but when I took the drone over, you can't see any of that. So, so this, cell, this cell here is, is completed apparently, so that's why that cell was done first. Right. And then it was the next cell, so there's four, there four different cells within the landfill. Uh, so each, each cell gets filled, capped off, and then the next cell gets filled up right. again. So this cell here was completed last year, but recently we've seen a lot of activity on that, on that cell again. So we don't know what's, what's going on there. As I said earlier, yep. there'll be one five step appeal. Well, as long as it takes them to speak or. Yeah, but you can't go one, two, three, five. No. There'll be, a relevant, there'll be an element of common sense. Right? Yeah. Right? Okay. We'll just let you know once they've gone through that once, then the consequences of what we discussed earlier may happen. So okay. you're happy with that? Yeah, well, I didn't know Stabby Chipper stopped common sense. Yeah. Really, I had any of that. Is it Simon, is it? Yeah. Simon, what offence would be committed after the last step's taken? Yes. Well, at the minute, we'd be looking at Tracy Union at 241. Really? What, what's what's that? People got arrested for and then it got thrown out. Well, that's what happened to court, isn't it? So you're arresting us for nothing? I'm not, I'm not getting into so you're going to arrest us on I'm the not getting into I'm just telling of. you, the officers are coming over. Okay, Excuse Paul. me, but, but you need to talk to us because, because you come over here to tell us this information. You can't just say, we're giving you this much information and that's so all that's I'm telling you. You need to tell us what your plan is. You can't just say. Well, the plan is, officers are coming well, over. But we're asking you questions, so the have the decency field. to stand there and answer the questions, and don't, don't say, don't. "Oh, get out my face." Don't. Why are you being aggressive? Rude. This one's it's actually making me angry. Like you do one, every week that you come and you just try and bully us. There's only one person trying to bully us to here. move across the road. I'm a bully. So what? What do you want me to be all calm? What do you want me to be nice? I've been here since eight o'clock. I don't care how long I've lived. I've lived like this for three years. You don't give a shit. So that's my question. Just give me two seconds. Why question? There are a few that are much worse. And Simon. Simon's well, actually been the, the best of the bunch I today. The legislation would be to follow the trains you need that. Because we are, prevent, we are preventing them from doing their work and the lorry drivers coming in and the impact on them as well. But if we haven't done anything, what am I going to get arrested for? I moved them. Simon? I'm not moving. So, I want to know, after I've done the, you've done the five step, if I do not move, Simon? Can I be next? I'll put my hand up. Go on then. Simon, right. Do you know the the uh, section two four one of the Trade Union Act? Um, section D says if you watch or besit the house or other place where the person resides, works, carries on business or happens to be, or the approach to any house, then an offence is committed. So is that the section you'll be using for the arrest? I can't read, that's miles too small for my Yeah, do you want to zoom it in? You've got the legislation on your phone as well, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that could be used, yeah. Yeah, is that what you're intending to use if... I'm not going to use it. The officers that come will use it. Right. That, that is a legislation that would be considered so and may be used. Which part of that section D, then, are they doing right now? Yeah, you need a bigger phone. Well, well, maybe you should have all these answers ready for us. 
Considering you're following the process. So legislation's there for a reason. We all have to follow the law. Yeah. But this legislation was made for employees of a business that are taking strike action. Now these guys are not employed by the Red Industries or Wallace Quarry, whatever it is. So this legislation cannot be used. Or if it is going to be used, when it gets to court, okay. it will be well, thrown out. Well, yeah, I've had this but discussion. you shouldn't be using it because it's not yeah, relevant. Yeah, yeah. I've had this discussion earlier about the court. What it happens in court is out of our, our, our hands, out of my hands. But you just okay. admit that you're making up any 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 sort of offence. And I'm not going to speak to you while you've been aggressive. I'm not being aggressive. You are being aggressive. Simon, talking to you. can Simon. I just point out something? I have major health problems, right? So if it is that I get arrested and I'm manhandled and anything pops out or dissipates, I will be suing. Just so you know, I'm making you aware, so you need to do a risk assessment thing for me. If I see that escalating, I will tell the officer that's here <laughs> about your health problems. Okay. All right, so we have a duty of care. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's Thank no issues you. with that. Okay? Just Simon, to tell you, that's all ladies, have you ever heard all this or not? No. Oh, got the public would rather you not waste taxpayers' money on arrests in such a manner. Okay. I'm being Honestly, it's well, that's, that's a matter of opinion. Look, we're we're, tr we're trying to show everybody what's going on, Absolutely. so that the, these sort of things Very are not well. happening. I'll be back in a minute. And yeah. it, so. But by us highlighting your misuse of power, hopefully you're going to stop misusing it. Because that would be a misuse of power. The legislation don't apply. I, 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 let me explain to you, anyway. That's okay. my opinion. Okay, okay. Given us so, so what's made you decide? Uh, but so, so, whoever's decided it, what's I mean, made, them decide? made that decision? I've got no idea. It's full process, so why? I can't, I can't speak on behalf of other people. Well, asking everybody, really. I mean, why not? You've not been very helpful. I thought you were, I thought you were trying to help us. It's well, supposed to be respect. I'm not going to do, what, do what you tell me all the time because I've got a job to do. Really, yeah? right, okay, well, I'm leaving that because I'm not Thank getting into that debate. Back across the road. Is that another one? It makes you wonder, don't it? But they come at such speed, I'm like, hope it ain't. That one earlier... We've just gone past. That one earlier, you know. Have you had that before, where they're literally pushing oh, you out of the way? Many a time. What, on camera? Yeah, yeah many times. And have time. they pursued it? No. I'm going to make sure they pursue this one. The workers won't know if we're going to let them out. No. no. The gentlemen in the car, they don't work for Red. They work for Landfill Projects. So okay. they're requesting if they can come past. Yeah. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> Wow, look at how many have arrived now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, wow, 19, 20, 21. I'd say we're going to have about 30, 30 constables here to police this protest. Wow! Could I ask you a question, please? Could I ask you a question, please? No, no, I'm busy at the base.